I went to work for a farmer that had a bulldozer. Yeah? Is that where you learned to work a bulldozer? Yeah, I went back and run the bulldozer again. Yeah. And finally, some neighbors of mine, I, I worked for a Jew that had a bulldozer, and I worked for him about a year. And I went to do some work, Welling Boys. Mm -hmm. And they were Catholics. Mm -hmm. And they was also, uh, they'd been used a lot, they they made, they farmed over a thousand acres of land. And they, and they said that I should own a bulldozer. I was working to farm, I built a pond, a little old pond for him. And he said, you ought to have a bulldozer of I said, I don't have no money. He says, you come and, you come back and see me tomorrow. I had a little old pickup. So I went and he said, I'll see if I can get something done. And so he talked to his brother. Tom was his name. Tom and Richie Payne. And he says, uh, Richie says, to Tom says, I want to get Earl and get a bulldozer. Tom says, Earl, says, if you want a bulldozer, you go see Martin Smith. There in the back, Aaron Curl, he says, you said he, you tell him that they will loan me money so I can go buy a bulldozer. So they, the, those guys arranged for the bank to give you some money yeah. to, so you could buy your own bulldozer. So he said, my, the president of the bank also was, Martin Spent was his name. Yeah. He was president of the Carroll County Trust Company Bank. He took a, pulled a checkbook out of his drawer and he said, go buy a bulldozer. Uh, I, I drove the, <laughs> up the Chillicothe and bought a brand new bulldozer. Yeah. And How much did that cost? Do you remember? $17,500. That was a lot of money back then, wasn't it? Back then, a brand new one. Yeah. And they said, well, you want it delivered? I said, bring them to Carlton and I'll tell you what I get. So uh, on a Monday, I went to church. This was on a Friday, and I went to church on a Saturday, on a Sunday, and uh, I met, met a good friend of mine that was needed the bulldozer in the bottom. Yeah. Kelm was his name, and he said, "Earl, well, you know where you, I?" He said, "You're driving a bulldozer for some back. Well, I need some work done." I said, "Could you get one of his bulldozers and come and get some work done for me?" He had some. He had drainage ditches made and he went to dirt to spread out. And I said, I went to, I just ordered a brand new bulldozer. And I said, I don't need the, I said, I'll have one of my own. So I, the truck come to Carroll and then on a Monday he was going to deliver to Carroll and I told the trucker, I said, take it to Cal's farm. So we went down the bottom. I went to work that same day. The same day, day you got it, you had a job. Yeah. yeah. And I paid for it the first year. Yeah. And just one job after another. Because mm -hmm. back here then, there was there wasn't too many of them in the country. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of drag lines, but not very many bulldozers in yeah. the bottom. So I paid for it the very first year. Did you work on the baseball fields in Carrollton? Did you? I did some leveling off the field yeah. on one of them yeah. where they played uh, softball. Yeah. Yeah. I did that one time. Yeah. That was the best part of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Then later on, I don't know, I'm here today.